So based on my previous video, which covered my progress in the Tesla Lemon buyback process, uh, it turns out that there's going to be a delay due to them still finalizing the surrender instructions and other paperwork. Which really isn't that surprising considering that Tesla still seems new to the buyback process and then my unprecedented issue with the car locking out doesn't really help out with this. So I might as well think about my next car in the meantime, but ugh, the rates are so high. It's like 7-8% to 8 the last time I checked. Um, so most likely I'm going to pay with cash contingent on selling or getting the car bought back um, and also because I'm fun employed. But no rush, honestly. I mean, I've been carless out in suburbia many times and this will just be a repeat of Ubering, longboarding, and living off of DoorDash. And it's not like I have anywhere I need to be. Although I am considering a cross-country road trip sometime soon, uh, now that I have the time. Um, so I've been eyeballing another Tesla uh, for its supercharger network and its promising technology. And like any innovative tech company, it's nearly impossible to leave its ecosystem. And no, I wouldn't say I'm that forgiving even after the incident. Uh, my car was just a defect, so for now I'm just going to sign off on the Ys, let alone the performance trim. Uh, because my previous Model 3 was fine, never had any of these issues. And like any piece of technology, there are bound to be problems. In my experience of owning a Tesla, the pros definitely outweigh the cons at this point. So stay tuned for the next steps.